Hello folks, welcome back to the boat build. Just have a quick look in here, because we've, uh, we've got all the, the ballast in. Unfortunately, I wasn't here to take the footage of that, but we've got lots of um, set stones and we've put about one, uh, one and a quarter tons in. So that should be enough to sink this, but not too much. So now we have finished all the woodwork underneath and we're, the floor is going in for good now. So what the point we're up to at, at moment, up to at moment is we've got the chipboard floor in which we had down temporarily, but now we've put down the plywood underneath it and it's all ready to take the chipboard now. So we'll just have a quick look. So it's a bit dark in here. That's 15 mil WBP ply, which is water and boil proof, water and boil proof ply. So that's down, it's sturdy as it is now. And now there's the the uh, 22 mil board to go on top. So that'll be a real solid floor, which is what you want. So, and I'm just in here doing the cupboards that come along here now. So I'm just having a quick measure on this. So I thought I'd just uh, show you what stage we're at. I've got a sump pump in the corner there. So there's a sump that this bulkhead will stay solid. Although we've got to come through at a height up here. But uh, we've got a separate sump pump in this, this side and then there'll be another one in the engine bay. So that's where we're at. Uh, we're going to have a look at what we're up to in this shop. The units I'm underway with is this next kitchen unit. So there is that tall cabinet at that depth, comes to there and then it's splaying out and then along there. So there's going to be a little cupboard. There's going to be some drawers and that's the oven. And that's just arrived, the Thetford oven. And underneath, I'm going to put drawers in. And if you've been watching Building an Arrow Boat with Nanny and Grandad, uh, Ad and Haley, who have done a cracking job of the boat, they're fitting out. They've used the underside, the underneath of the units they built. And you put drawers underneath, so you're using all the room in the boat that you can. So that's, I've actually cut the parts out for this unit. Which are here, basically. And I've lined it with some hardwood. And a hardwood on the bottom, because you don't want the board. Because you're forced to get spilled something in the boat and you don't want moisture going into this board, you know. So that will be painted and sealed. And this is the layout. So that's the first face frame that butts up to the tall cabinet here. And it's on an angle, these joints, you can't see a lot, but there's an angle on the timber because it's angled here and then we're coming straight along here so that's the first cupboard that goes with that face frame and then this is the next cupboard to do and we're using to make the internals of the unit we're using this board which is a melamine faced uh, MDF so it's all wiped clean. So when it's all fitted, you can wipe it all clean inside. But we'll have this is the face frame, so it'll look like this on the outside of the units. So that's it. It's all underway now. Get all these cabinets made. We've got more timber to come today. 
the oven's arrived today, the little set foot oven that's going in this unit. So we've got the stuff coming, we've got the what else coming? Oh the hob. The hob that goes on the top, three ring burner. We've got that ordered, that's coming. So we've got all the bits and bobs that we need at the moment. So we'll get on with it. I've got my sides cut. Top and bottom, one of them missing, isn't there? where's that gone anyway? Find it in a minute. So we've got them hardwood edged all the way around. So it's now to, time to make a cabinet. So the jig we made for doing the staircase, plowing those grooves in. We're using it on here now. I'm gonna, we're gonna put a five mm groove in there to hold the bottom shelf. which is a far better way of trying to hold the shelves in than just say putting a timber underneath or lap them to sit on, things like that. It's far better to have a solid slot they can sit in. Everything sits still and it's all at the same height. You've not got any danger of things moving. This is extremely slippy stuff, slippy on slippy, so we're going to clamp it down at each side. So we'll mark out for the biscuits. We'll cut those in. Two pieces on now, front and back. Let's check square. Yeah, square. Before I glue this up, I'm going to make life a bit easier so I'm not having to sort of struggle getting in here once it's glued up to put other bits on. So we've got the bookcase strip which needs setting on there, bring in a bit. That's it, the bookcase strip's going to set on the I've cut them off because they're in a big like 1.8 meter length. I just made that jig. So it sits in the slot there. And it sets those 150 mil up. So we've put that to the front edge. I've marked two places on there. Saves measuring out every time. So we're just gonna put those on there and square them up on the front edge. Three screws in each, they're done. And under here we're going to have the draw box. So we've got these 40mm line up. So I'm using a 40mm back mark for the centre there. So they'll screw on to there. And if I screw all them on before it's uh, glued up, makes it easier. <laughs> really good draw slides these. If you saw making an arrow boat with Granny and Grandad, AD and Haley. Would really done an excellent job of that boat and he's had some good ideas I saw him do this use the area under the cabinet where the kickboard would go. So you still got a kick you've still got that gap for your toes to go under. And that'll have a cabinet a drawer, so in the cabinet that pulls out. So that'll be sat on there. And then the drawer will pull out. They extend a long way these, so the spots on those, great quality hinges, ball bearings in them. They hold something stupid like 20 kilograms or each or something, far, far more than you'll ever put in a jaw. So we're going to set them up now.
that we're ready to glue up now so we get some gobble on and get them together. Right, biscuits, we've wet them, glue in, job done. Proud a little touch, just in that set. So that's it for ten minutes. Joints are good, nice and square. We're gonna have a bacon butty. Next thing we're doing is attaching this face frame to that carcass. To do that, we're using a pocket hole jig, that's a Craig pocket hole jig. And it cuts pocket holes in the sides here. You use a drill, a special step drill. And it's a square end screwdriver because the square headed uh, screws. So we want to say, I don't know, three slots up there. So we just clamp this on. It's adjustable for the different size timbers. Ready. Right here. So once that's clamped on, there's holes here and we just move through. cuts the pocket hole. Those done. We're not putting them all in because you don't want to take screws in and out. ones as far as that's going at the moment leave the back out and we'll do draw boxes all at once so now we're doing those two 
That's for the oven, that draws what's left. So we've got the board cut, part of it cut. I'll get the rest of it cut and come back. Right, that's all dry fitted together now. So we're going to stand it up, have a look at this oven, see what we've got to divide up. So that's glued up, ready to divide it up to take the the oven now in here. It's sort of big, the shelf goes in here somewhere about this height, I think. So I better get the instructions from the cooker. We'll have a look at that and. Um, We'll uh, get it finished. So we've got a Thetford duplex. It's just a sort of compact little oven. There's a grill pan so you can grill with it. That's all we need. We don't need anything bigger than that. We're not nobody's going to make in uh, banquets on this boat. <laughs> So that's it, a nice little tidy unit, 12 volt ignition, LPG. So that fits in here. So it sort of lips over the edge of this with this little flange that goes all the way around it. So we need a mid rail here and then a, a base for it to sit on. I've had a look at the, the instructions and they're all on there. The cutout you need, you've got to have a gap for the air to come underneath it and to come out from the top. So we need to figure that, divide that up now and uh, we'll get it in.
get the oven and try it in. See there's a bit of a gap around here, it's because I want to trim it all up around these sides with that uh, aluminium angle. So it will be lined all the way around and that will give a bit of protection against the timber, you know, uh, the heat comes out and the uh, Oh, any cooking fat spitting and stuff like that. So we'll put that around it. Oh nice that the tins up. So the air goes under there. You would have a uh, you've got to have an air gap of at least that above and below. Right, so that's above, that's plenty. And below, you got all that's gonna be open. That's a nice little place now for a tray cupboard you know trays in there and uh, you've got your airflow all the time. And then drawers in here. Yeah, that's it for today folks. Because um, it's Sunday morning and I've got to go down south this afternoon. It's a work for a week so it's gonna be next week and before I'm back here. So Anyway, thanks everybody for liking and subscribing, so we'll call it an end to this part and then next time we'll make the drawers and everything, the drawer underneath, shoot me up. Alright, two hours.